I've actually been searching for a way to speed up my editing process for quite some time and considering that most devices I have seen or that I've been interested in happen to be pretty expensive, it did take me quite a while. I even got my hands on a Stream Deck XL that I got actually for streaming and it has been a fantastic device for streaming, but I figured that maybe I could still use it for editing and I just didn't really enjoy the experience all that much. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but you know, that's just my take. I really wanted something with, with knobs and dials, buttons, and more precise customization in general when it came to editing. So something that was just, I guess, a little more. So I found the LoopDeck CT, the device that has sped up my workflow forever, but I have a lot of issues with it. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Before we continue, I just wanted to remind you that we have a Twitch channel where we stream every Friday and Saturday from 8 p.m. and to 10 p.m. Eastern time. So why not go ahead and drop a follow? And also don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And also make sure to check out the merch store. There's plenty of black and white sweetness to choose from up there. So go ahead and check that out. And then make sure to take a look at the podcast as well as a podcast always goes live every Wednesday and Sunday. And with that said, enough rambling. Let us get straight into the video. So let's begin with an unboxing. It was a very nice unboxing as it comes in this nicely stylized box and covered in foam. Just about everywhere, I would say. Then you're going to find some instructions, of course, but you will also find the Loop Deck CT itself and the USB-C cable for power and data. And now the exterior design does consist of a very nice build. It's built out of metal with what appears to be a glass display for the top portion. This device is very thin and light, but it does feel premium and very well built. I'm happy with the build so far, the size and the use of USB-C and a plethora of buttons and knobs to make this almost exactly the product I was looking for. And speaking of said buttons and knobs, we've actually got six dedicated knobs on the side that control six different functions with 12 customizable buttons, which are touch enabled. You've also got three labeled circular buttons right underneath, eight of them, but these are fully remappable as well. Then you have pre-labeled buttons as well, 12 in total that re resemble a membrane keyboard almost, and each of these keys are still going to be very satisfying to press and very much customizable, so you can remap them to whatever shortcut you want them to do. These are all customizable and you've got the touch knob. We're going to actually rotate the knob, which is a really cool feature that I use quite a bit for pretty much whatever action you would like. I tend to use it for playback and you can customize the display, which is touch enabled. There is a lot of great potential with this product and it's all unlocked by the Loop Deck software. So let's go ahead and talk about the Loop Deck software. I'm going to withhold my opinions on that until a little bit later, but this is some of what this software is capable of doing. Granted, I'm only scratching the surface because this software offers a lot of functionality and quite frankly, it, it can get pretty complex. And you can, for example, customize each individual function on this board through it and add icons to fit your needs. There's a function button on the keyboard. You can include additional functions to each button as well and knob since they do support presses as well, which is on honestly pretty cool. They really did try to take full advantage of the hardware that's on this board. Now you can make custom profiles if you want for whatever software you use and you're not particularly limited here. Another thing that's great about the software is that it comes with a lot of templates already in case you're not sure where or how to start which is exactly where I was to be completely frank since this is my first editing console. You have templates for Photoshop, Premiere Pro, even Resolve and much much more. You can also go into these templates and actually make a couple of changes to them and adjustments if you want to, just to make sure that they can suit your workflow as needed. You can also download templates from other sites and even just from other vendors or other people that have made really, really useful templates that could come in handy for you. I actually ended up doing that. So the software is rich with customization, but let's go ahead and talk about how I use it. So I really got this just for one program and I'm hoping to using it with other software too, but I really got it for DaVinci Resolve 16 and it has been absolutely fantastic for my usage. It has sped up my workflow greatly. Now I don't use the default resolve panels because the ones that Loop Deck includes are far from usable to me. So I actually bought a template from Sideshow, if I'm not mistaken, and it offers all of the shortcuts and templates that I would expect, but I added some smaller tweaks to a few of the buttons here to make it better for my own workflow. And I definitely am glad that I went ahead and went in that direction. And nowadays I really hardly use my own keyboard and simply rely on the mouse and the editing console here. The dial 
is very precise here as it goes frame by frame every time you turn it so you can really get super precise with it and make fine tune adjustments and just gets you exactly where you want to be without much hassle and i really like that and there are going to be other shortcuts on the touchpad to switch between the different modes within resolve and etc within the one screen i can play pause and fast forward from just one tiny spot making me incredibly efficient here as i can just control everything from quite frankly the palm of my hand i do love the stock for editing videos and i've occasionally used it for photoshop work and it is good for it as the knob is particularly nice for color correction and just like going through a gradient and things like that but this console will pretty much do whatever you can imagine it to as long as you have a broad enough imagination as long as you understand the loop tech software then i think you're gonna have a very good time with it now let's get into my complaints and let's start with the software that i spent so much time praising I hate it. <laughs> this software is capable of a lot, but I'm simply not used to it even to this day. Customizing buttons is harder than you might think, as it only lets you look through a list of commands and they have a lot of commands listed. And not that there's anything wrong with having so many options, it's just that the way that they've had it organized makes it difficult to browse through, hence it just makes it difficult and a little demotivating to add some custom features yourself things like keystrokes to apply to whatever buttons you want whatever you want to do with the knobs and it won't always even save these sometimes it'll reset importing templates has also been problematic in the past because it won't always show up during the first few attempts a lot of these commands that i got for the loop tech for instance would not have been possible for me to put on there if it hadn't been for the template store which i obviously mentioned a, a little bit earlier because quite frankly i don't think i would have had the patience to figure all of this out and actually get it working properly it is at least to me that complicated and tedious to look through this particular software it's just a lot to unpack here so if you want a simple experience with this product buy a template or use the ones that already come with it if they happen to be usable enough for you but i would encourage you to try and learn it as i'm still trying my best to wrap my head around it and you can also look at some tutorials online to help you out with that and for those that have actually created templates and that have actually gone through the work do make sure to support them because it, it's not easy <laughs> and that's really what it comes down to this is a fantastic console in my opinion but the reviews do tend to be mix mostly because of the because of the software experience from what i've read at first it looks intuitive and then you're met by the complications of what it really is there is no doubt that there are many people who love it because i'm sure that there is a lot to love about it i mean it's so customizable that's really something that is hard to complain about but there are also going to be a lot of people that have a lot of problems with it because it's so difficult and tedious to customize this console costs $550, and it's probably way overpriced for what it is also. Right now, it does feel like it's been worth it because I, I can produce more projects at a much faster rate, but you don't need something like this for that to be possible at all, really. But it is something that has helped me in particular a lot and something the route that I would have gone and that I prefer. I don't want to recommend this to somebody who wants a simple experience because it's too expensive, and this just isn't a simple product to work with at all. But if you're willing to take on the challenge of mastering a board like this, then go ahead and give it a try. But again, at your own risk, this is a pretty big investment that you'd be making on something like this. And then if you have any tips for people who could benefit from knowing better, then do feel free to comment them down below, as even I would appreciate seeing what you have to advise. But so far from my experience, I can't recommend this to everybody. This is definitely a very niche product that I had to learn the hard way. And I do acknowledge that this really improved my workflow and that can't be denied. Though it is a massive learning curve and it took purchasing a different template and spending more for me to actually be able to make use of it. Otherwise, I would have been stuck in limbo, to be frank. That's a pretty tough sell for, you know, the average content creator for sure. And if you're interested in purchasing the Loop Deck CT, then I'll be making sure to leave affiliate links down to Amazon and in the description. And if you end up using any of my links, I do get a small commission that does support the channel quite a bit. So I would appreciate that quite a lot. And if you are interested in getting this, but maybe weren't exactly sure of whether or not you should do it because it's too expensive, then I'm going to offer a solution to you that's going to be through Abunda. Abunda is going to allow you to just go ahead and finance this. Super easy. You don't need a credit card at all. It is just really easy to get right in to it and you can finance it and pay for it over time so that way you don't have to splurge on it all at once and you can test it out and actually decide if you want it and you're still perfectly capable of returning it so with that said links to that down below in case of anything 
and also do make sure to subscribe because we do have the tech summary podcast that does go live every week twice a week so do make sure to stop by for that and i do like to stream on twitch every friday and saturday from 8 p.m to 10 p.m so do make sure to drop by over there as well do make sure to follow us on discord or just to follow the discord in general so that we can catch up and keep up with things talk about other things we do have a community going on over there it'd be very nice to have you there and the rest of my social media like my instagram and, and my twitter but with that said this has been francisco from tech summit thank you so much for watching and i will be seeing you all later enjoy